Hello and welcome to RooFitness.com for some Pilates and yoga. My name is Irvin Yogi Roo Jr. Let's stand comfortably tall, palms in front of the heart. Namaste. Well, let's release our hands. Let's begin to move our torso left and to the right. Put a slight bend in your knees as you tuck your tailbone under. Let the weight of your arms carry you from left and to the right. Continuing with your breath. Slow in the movement down. Now reach the arms up as we inhale. Put a slight bend in the knees, moving the hips back. Palms face the earth. Exhale, lower the arms. Inhale, we lower ourselves down to a chair. Arms just in front of us. And exhale back up. Inhale, reach the arms up. Bending at the knees, hips back. Standing butterfly pose. Lower the arms as we exhale. Inhale, lowering down to a chair pose. So your toes should be visible over your knees as you move your hips back. Bring it up as you exhale. Slight bend in the knees. Once again, windmills left into the right movement. Slowing the movement down, now let's begin to stand apart three to four feet with our legs. We're going to move into a triangle pose. Turn your right foot 90 degrees, left heel out just a bit, arms out into a T as you breathe in, and leaning over toward your left side, exhale, move over to the right, raising your left arm up toward the sky, resting with your right forearm to your thigh. You can look forward. If you feel confident enough, look up at your left thumb. Continue bringing back that left hip and shoulder, keeping straight legs. Think of bringing that hip and shoulder on the left side to an imaginary wall that's behind you. Breathing in and out. Good. Inhale, come up. Keep the arms out to a T. Release them down as you exhale. Turning your feet now to center. Bring the legs back together, back to windmills, moving left and to the right. Great. Standing apart once again about three to four feet. Turn that left foot 90 degrees. Right heel spinning out just a bit. Arms to a T as you lean over to your Right side, exhale, move to the left, resting with your left forearm to your thigh. Reaching your right arm up toward the sky and bring your hip and shoulder back as if there's a wall behind you. Continue the breath. Keep stretching out through your fingertips, your elbow and your shoulder with your right arm. Pull your kneecaps up towards your thighs, the outside of your feet, firmly grounded. Breathing into all of the muscles where you feel the challenge in the back of your legs, in between each of the ribs. The intercostal muscles. Inhale, bring yourself up. Lower the arms as you exhale. Bring your legs back under. Now begin to lower yourself down into a child's pose. So your hips are to your heels, arms in front. We'll come up to a push-up position. So let's go ahead and curl the toes under, straighten out our legs, and keep our hips in line with our shoulders to our feet. Now begin to lift your left leg up as you breathe in. Point your foot back. Exhale, lower the leg. And again, slow the movement lifting down. Lifting that leg up. Point your foot back, flex your foot, toe to kneecap, and lower the leg as you exhale. Belly pulled in. And again, lift up, point back, flex that foot, and lower back down. There's three. And again, back up as you inhale, point the foot, flex the foot, lower as you exhale. There's four. Once again, we lift, point back, 
flex that foot and lower. So you're doing some leg pull up prone. This is a Pilates move. Lowering the knees to the ground, to child's pose, hips are to heels, arms in front. Breathing in and out. Feel the stretch in your arms. Feel the stretch in your glutes and your hamstrings and your lower back. Second side or second set. Now we're up again to that push up position or plank pose. Shoulders over our hands, hips in line with feet to shoulders. Now the right leg, lifting that, point back, flex your foot and lower. Belly pulled in. Inhale, lift that leg, point back, flex the foot and lower. Very good. And again, we lift, point back, flex and lower. There's three. Lift that leg, point foot back, flex the foot and lower. There's four. Again, we lift, point back, flex and lower. There's five. Good, knees to the ground, wider than the hips, to child's pose, stretch it out. Smooth, relaxed breathing. Feel yourself relax and let go. Now go ahead and bring yourself back up. Curl the toes under, pressing back into downward facing dog as you lift your hips and press back against your hands. Walking your feet up behind your hands or your hands toward your feet as you exhale. Maintain a standing forward bend, lifting through the hips, straighten your legs. Your shoulders and head are brought close to your feet. Release your hands, slight bend in the knees. Breathing in, roll up through the vertebrae and lock the knees. Roll your shoulders back and down, your head up last. Well, thank you for joining me. There's our short little session today. Be sure to visit our website, RooFitness.com, for other downloads for the full version. Thank you for being here. Have a great day.